Are you ready? Hey peeps, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we got another top five list coming on, and today we're talking about top five potential trades for Reggie Jackson, which I've been kind of dreading this video, but I know everyone's been saying trade Reggie and all this, so I'm kind of staying neutral on this because I don't really want to trade Reggie, but I can see why you guys want to trade Reggie. So before we hop into the five potential trades that I've came up with, which are all fictional, don't know how... I, 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 well, I'll explain it as I go. But before we hop into that, real quick, I am going to start doing reaction videos. So, try not to laughs are in play here. Anything's in play. If you guys find some videos, like highlights of a game that you don't think I've watched or something, send them to me so I can watch them and upload. So, new stuff coming to the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But let's hop into what you guys came for today. So these aren't in any particular order, but coming in at number five, we got just draft picks. Uh, whether you're just trading away Reggie Jackson or if you're going to bundle them with Reggie Jackson, because at the time of this upload, we just played the Heat. We lost. Reggie had a good game, actually, and we benched Stanley Johnson for the majority of the game. So a lot of these trades, they might be uh, a bundle, but we might get like a mid first round draft pick form at best at worst but at worst it'd probably be like a second but i mean i i don't see this really happening because the pistons are kind of in a win now mode so i don't think they're really rebuilding but just an option so this is the least likely scenario uh next one we got john wall and the wizards are off to a slow sluggishly slow start and there might be some conflict coming on. This might be a trade deadline move. Again, not very likely. I just thought, you know, it's out there. But even if it was possible, he really wouldn't fit well with his team. He's not a great three-point shooter. And already with Drummond and Blake Griffin, who aren't particularly lights-out shooters, um, he wouldn't really fit for what we need. We really need a point guard who can shoot the ball. So it would be nice to have another big name here. I personally think John Wall's overrated, but I mean it's it, it could be possible they might be going into a rebuild mode after this year, especially, especially thinking that Dwight Howard might be the missing piece. But I mean, really, it's too early in the season to start throwing these trades out there because of the slow starts. So just be on the lookout for a John Wall trade rumors out there in the future. Uh, a very, 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 very good one. Because uh, this was rumored to be happening before Jeff Teague went to Minnesota. That they could trade him for Reggie Jackson when he was still in Indiana. So, why not make it now? He could fit. He's not an all-star anymore. He used to be. Uh, at least a borderline all-star. But he's gotten better at shooting the ball. He's a great facilitator. And he won't cause any drama. Because the reason I'm making this video is Reggie Jackson just looks uninterested out there. And not really trying. That's, that's why he left OKC. Because he wasn't happy with his role. Jeff Teague doesn't really have that big of an ego. He just wants to win games. Uh, at this point, he's a veteran leader. And could provide some valuable minutes for this team. Number two is a very good option for this team. Goran Dragic can shoot threes. Can pass the ball. Uh, he, he's a solid defender. He's not a lockdown defender. But he's not garbage at it either. Plus, he's got this year and next year in his contract. And then it'll be an expiring contract. So that way, in a couple years, you'd have room to sign another big free agent if you don't want to keep him. Uh, downside, he's 32, so he is on the end run of his career. But, I mean, as of right now, he still looks to be a great player in the league. A borderline All-Star. Um, he was very close, if not to making it last year in the All-Star game. I'm not sure if he made it. I know his name was being thrown around out there. But, I mean, he's... Can score 20 points, shoot the lights out. So, I mean, he would really fit the team well. Uh, the chemistry would just take time to build. But, I mean, after that, it'd be it'd be all smooth sailing. 
not a big eagle guy. Uh, but I mean, he's got some valuable, valuable experience in this league and could help lead this team to something big. And coming in at the one that I really, really, really would like out of everybody on this list is Terry Rozier. Uh, uh, the problem with this, and the only problem with this, is he's only got the contract for this year, and after this year, he will be a free agent, and he's going to want some money, especially after last season playing very well in the playoffs. So that's the knock there, but he can shoot the ball. He's very athletic. He's a scrappy defender. Uh, he doesn't have the leadership material uh, <clears throat> as the rest of the guys that I've said so far. But really, Blake Griffin's the leader of this team. Uh, so Blake Griffin could take him under the wing and show him how to be a leader. You got Drummond in there that could help him uh, in the pick and roll game. It would be a very, very, very solid pickup. The only problem is I don't know why Boston would trade for Reggie Jackson. Again, that might be one you to throw Stanley Johnson in there. I would throw in a second-round draft pick. But at the same time, you can't just give, give, give. You have to get something. So Terry Rozier would be over there. And then I don't know who else they would get. Um, I wouldn't be mad if we got their other backup center, not Baines, but the other guy. Uh, Zaza. This, uh, he just kind of looks lost out there, just complaining the refs. So, I mean, I don't know. But the main piece would be uh, Scary Terry. Uh, Scary Terry would fit Detroit. I would love to have him here. It would be nice. Very, very nice at the least. So that's just a quick top five for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if there's somebody or something that you want for Reggie Jackson besides a washing machine, comment down below if I left anybody out or anything like that. And then again, you know, if you guys find some videos for me to watch, send them to me and I'll do it. Uh, check the description out. Follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram. Um... But rather than that, just a quick little top five for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.